what up to a few years ago was considered a minor problem for city and citizens is now becoming a real menace. City solid waste is a massive cause of pollution. In fact, governments are now seeking to move away from a dependency on landfill to greater recycling and recovery, and to minimize waste whenever possible. The European Union has established that, as of 2010, landfill can no longer be considered a solution for urban solid waste. Indeed, waste will increasingly be used as a resource and waste treatment will become a manufacturing process producing materials to a specification. This new political sensitivity encourages the growth of new technologies and Ensorga, with the Heviot process, is a leader in the waste management field. The Heviot, in the name of this Ensorga facility, stands for High Efficiency Mechanical Biological Treatment and has been designed to deal with problems of treating residual household waste. That is, the waste left over once a high level of recycling has been achieved. More importantly, it has been specifically designed to produce materials to a specification that can be used with confidence. The aim of the system is to quickly and safely treat residual municipal waste, reduce its volume by driving off moisture and produce a dry and sanitized output that can be refined to extract further material for recycling and recovery. What sets the Ensorga mechanical biological treatment apart is a number of key innovations. Its energy efficiency and low production costs, flexibility in terms of waste input, improved yields of materials for recovery and recycling, and its minimal impact on the working environment. So how does it work? The process harnesses the natural microbic activity within the waste, in effect the rotting process, and creates the ideal conditions for this to occur rapidly by digesting the biological fraction, typically fats, starches and proteins that make up discarded food and other organic matter in the waste. In doing this, heat is generated like in a garden compost heap, which further stimulates the rate of biological activity and therefore dries out the waste. This is where the technology takes over. Instead of just leaving the waste to rot over time, air is blown into and sucked through it. And by continuously monitoring the air temperature as it leaves the waste, the ideal environment is created to maximize biological activity and dry the waste. In this presentation, we are going to look at the production of a solid recovered fuel more closely. The building itself typically looks like any large industrial unit and can be designed to merge in with the local environment. All mechanical equipment is contained within the building and consequently there are no problems with noise. The building has been designed to allow waste to be delivered rapidly. Fast opening roller shutter doors allow vehicles to tip and turn around quickly. Waste is delivered to the facility in normal collection vehicles, where it is tipped into a reception pit. The thing to note about this is that the building itself is always kept under a slight negative pressure, so that any fugitive odors arising as the waste is being tipped are drawn into the building and cleaned with the rest of the air. Once the waste is in the reception pit, the process of moving it around the plant and treatment is fully automated thus removing the need for any operator intervention within the building. This might not seem important, but it means that unlike other systems, operators are not exposed to the foul air inside the unit or endangered by mechanical loading shovels moving waste around in the facility.
The whole operation is managed from a control center, which dominates the treatment hall and from where all equipment is continuously monitored and controlled by computer with a minimum intervention required from the operator. Once inside the building, the waste is moved around using two specially designed overhead cranes. It is moved from the reception pit into a fast rotary screener, where the waste is channeled into two flows. Those items which pass through the mesh, undersize, and those which do not, oversize. At this stage, the undersize fraction continues through the process, and the oversize fraction, typically 10% of the input, is removed. This generally consists of plastic film, paper, and card that would play no part in the biostabilization phase, which is diverted directly into the refinement section. This method of preparation offers several advantages compared to shredding the waste. It's less energy and maintenance intensive, exposes more waste to biological activity, and improves the effectiveness of separation in the refinement section. Both the reception pit and the pit receiving the undersized waste from the rotary screener, there is a further innovation. Warm air, originating from the biological process, can be blown into the waste to pit increase its temperature. This stimulates the biological activity at the very early stage in the process compared to other systems and is particularly beneficial in winter time when the delivered waste can be frozen. After passing through the rotary screener, the undersized waste is then collected by the overhead cranes and moved to the biostabilization area, where it is laid out in batches. The floor of the biostabilization area contains a specially designed ventilation system that allows air to be drawn or blown, the reverse flow system, through the floor and supplies the microbes in the waste with oxygen. The waste remains in these batches until it is stabilized and the system controls the volume of air being sucked through the waste to maximize the decay. This takes 10 to 14 days. Once the waste is dry, it is collected by the overhead cranes and moved to the refinement section. Here, a combination of electromechanical and magnetic processes sorts the dried material to extract ferrous and non-ferrous metals and produce a solid recovered fuel to a specification suitable for use in a wide range of energy recovery systems. The outputs from the plant are collected in standard containers and removed for recycling or recovery. Finally, all the air from the system is collected for treatment and dust removal. To do this, the air is passed through a biofilter, again a process harnessing natural microbes to remove odors from the air. This is achieved by blowing the air through a filter made typically of wood bark or similar material which contains the microbes. In particular situations, the Phoenix system, based on the absorption of pollutants into a special filter, can be used as an alternative. The Ensorga MBT process combines modern technology with clever design to provide a highly flexible and cost-effective means of treating residual municipal solid waste. In doing this, it delivers weight loss, recycling and recovery, and contributes towards waste reduction targets and diversion from landfill by harnessing natural processes. It does this with a minimum impact on the environment and effective attention to health and safety, thus providing a modern, sustainable solution to waste management.